साउथ चाइना सी एंड कैम प्लासेस इलेवन बिलियन बैरल्स ऑफ ऑयल वन नाइनटी ट्रिलियन क्यूबिक फीट ऑफ नेचुरल गैस टेन परसेंट ऑफ वर्ल्ड फिशरीज Chinese forces are massing in the South China Sea. One wrong move and the whole thing could explode. Our next story is from the South China Sea. We often say the next war could be fought here and not without reason. Let me tell you what happened over the weekend. Two ships collided. One Chinese and the second from the Philippines. It is extremely important to understand the relevance of South China Sea and therefore talk to any diplomat from Brunei, Vietnam, Malaysia, Philippines, Taiwan, most importantly China, they all would want to claim this part of the sea. And on what basis do they claim this sea? Most of these countries lay claim on the basis of United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea, UN clause. What is it? United Nations Convention on Laws of the Sea says, and I quote, that the exclusive economic zone shall not extend beyond 200 nautical miles from the baseline from which the breadth of the territorial sea is measured i know it is a convoluted sentence but it's an extremely important sentence what is this exclusive economic zone exclusive economic zone is a sea zone prescribed by the united nations convention on the law of the sea this interesting zone extends up to 200 nautical miles from the baseline of a coastal state's territory and the interesting part is that it is within this zone state has a special right regarding the exploration and the use of marine resources including the energy production from water and wind it is important to note that eez only gives right to the resources in the water and beneath the ocean floor not the water itself all the other states they have the freedom of navigation now it is in this context china is building up many artificial islands in south china sea why because eez extends up to 200 nautical miles from a country's coastline by constructing artificial islands china could potentially claim that these zones extend from those from their new land masses what will this do this will in a way expand china's legal claim to more of south china sea's resources perhaps by establishing these artificial islands china could exert more control over the important waterways resources but one question that you should ask is so what i mean why is vietnam philippines why are they concerned they will always have the freedom of navigation based on international laws but we know how china plays out china is very aggressive what if china restricts access to these areas to those who are unaware china is already building up military bases on these islands US military aircraft Papa Air Alpha This is Jenny Liu Reef China has sovereignty of the national islands including Liu Reef and its adjacent waters Leave immediately and keep far off I'm warning you again Leave immediately or you will bear for what is about the penalty for all the consequences And this also makes United States an important stakeholder in the South China Sea's dispute why because south china sea is very very critical for the global trade and the military operations of the us billions of dollars of goods are shipped from the us to and fro from south china sea and if you think about this us has wonderful economic ties with the countries in the asia pacific region many of which are directly affected by tensions in the south china sea japan south korea philippines strategic countries for the us and of course many american businesses also have substantial investments in southeast asia therefore this concept of exclusive economic zone is important but what about the areas that are outside of the eez that area is under the international waters falls under the un maritime law today every country in south china sea uses this 200 nautical miles eez threshold to determine its claims every country except china china argues that it has historical claims to the south china, south china sea china argues it has historical claims to the south china sea and it is in this context many of you would have heard of something called nine dash line what is that nine dash line nine dashes on the map this nine dash line is a line used by china to assert its claim over majority of south china sea bases this nine dash line china claims numerous islands reefs maritime areas that are obviously the part of china of vietnam philippines malaysia brunei indonesia to be honest this nine dash line is very vague in fact in 2016 it was constituted under the un clause it ruled that this nine dash line is nonsense it has absolutely no legal basis and china's historical claim over this south china sea is incompatible with this exclusive economic zone but despite the tribunal's ruling china continues to use this nine dash line to justify its actions claims in south china sea and hence we have so many disputes geopolitical tensions in this region but one question is why is china fighting with everyone around why can't they live in peace and let others live in peace 